With Stanton River running the table, the bird Botetourt clash more about getting ready for the playoffs than a district decision. And there's no question the home team needed this one for the playoffs. Eric, both teams wanting to get ready for the playoffs. Looks like bird has a few new ways to showcase their main man and LB probably just wants to get healthy. That's exactly right. We can agree that this isn't the same LB team we've been accustomed to seeing early on throughout this season. And not, uh, needless to say, they are on the heels of Stanton River in their region, just hoping to land a nice seat for the postseason. But there's no question that Region 4D that we talked about last block is the most tightly contested region in the land. And even with only one loss coming into tonight, William Byrd sits at just the number seven spot. LB calling out the Terriers early and they showed up. After not playing last week, check out Larry Basham off the muddle huddle back in a big way. On a fourth and nine, takes the direct snap, cuts his way to the end zone. Seven nothing bird ensuing drive. Check out Hunter Metter with the interception. He's going to take this one back to the house with a score. Terriers up 14 to nothing and led 28 to seven at the break. But the Cavaliers put up a fight. Evan Eller coming up with a nice interception here in LB with cash a check later and somebody let Uncle Ben in the kitchen because yeah, we're cooking with some rice right now. Hunter Rice finds a scene 79 yards to the promised land. But William Byrd came out just a bit too sharp tonight. TJ Johnson, check him out here with the one nice one handed catch there. And Larry Basham had multiple scores tonight. Terriers win 42 to 14 over Lord Botetourt and another nice performance, not the performance I should say that uh, Lord Botetourt was looking to have tonight, but they are still in a favorable spot heading into next week. Hopefully they can simply get healthy at this point in the coming days and weeks and return to the team we're used to seeing. As for William Byrd, that was a much needed win tonight in the race for the postseason with Amherst and EC Glass both losing. The Terriers are sure to make some ground in Region 4D and stay within the top eight. They will face a Northside team that's a certain to give them a challenge next week. Happy.